Hi, this is Charting Man Dan of TheChartGuys.com, home of technical analysis education. Click the link for a free week trial, no credit card required, and gain access to our multiple live broadcasts daily, community chat room, educational videos, nightly watch lists, and more. Invest in your education and future and join the community today. Hey everyone, looking at natural gas, daily, weekly, shorter term time frames. So a bearish reversal candlestick, the first red day we've seen after six green days. And a red day tomorrow to confirm it, we'll look for normal healthy consolidation and a potential bullish entry for a longer term trade. We have the upper Bollinger Band still as support at 323, so we are still in breakout mode and we're going to have to lose that level tomorrow to see the confirmation candlestick that the bears are looking for and that the bulls that missed the run are looking for to try and get in. So support is going to be 3209, 320. Let's try that again. 3.209. And then looking down at 3.154. And then the 10-day moving average will be catching up by that point. The weekly time frame, we had our resistance target picked out. That was our target on this bull move. It happened way quicker than I anticipated. 10% from 3 to 330. But we are rejecting from the 200 week moving average, currently forming a bearish reversal candlestick on the weekly. And depending on how big that upper wick is will depend on how weak the bulls will be heading into next week with three trading days left to go. We do have the inventory report to be aware of. That's always a little bit of a curveball in terms of looking at these charts because if we are going to make a bullish position, a bullish entry, we need to know that that inventory report is approaching. So looking at natural gas on the hourly, we can see that consolidation beginning, lower highs and lower lows. I'm looking at resistance on the hourly of three 0.266 and support of 321 break 321 i'm looking down here in the 315s so very clear pullback underway from that resistance point let's look at the four hour chart to see if we have the bearish macd cross yet and that did occur today stair stepping very clear support levels on the way up and we'll see if we break those on the way down rsi is cooling off from overbought conditions bearish macd cross and if we break 315.6, we will be looking back essentially down towards the low $3 range, which should be some nice strong support. So 315.6 is a clear support level to keep an eye on into the next couple of days. And looking for a bullish entry because we are certainly still long-term bulls on natural gas. Let's check out the monthly chart. First time we're over $3 since back on December 2014. So almost two whole years trying to change the trend and we're going to have to get up above six dollars to do that so that's a long way away but we're certainly changing the midterm trend and looking up 454 is the next very clear long-term resistance level to be watching bull flag on the monthly and this is why it's important to look at all different kinds of time frames you look at the weekly and that bull flag was certainly there a little bit less clear and with on the monthly, with it just being two candlesticks, a lot of people would argue that that's not enough consolidation for a bull flag, but all you need to do is zoom in and you'll get more candlesticks fitting that pattern. So a big bull move, consolidation, continuation, and we'll see how much momentum the bulls have this winter. I guess we need a new target. If we turn the 200-week moving average into support of 331, I will be looking up at... 3352 and then the gap to fill at 3444. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for all the likes and the shares. I'll see you tomorrow.